Welcome friends to CG Course channel where you are going to learn about computer graphics. In today's video we learn about lighting in Cinema 4D using HDR IMX and global illumination. Before starting today's video let me thank you for your likes and comments. For those whom it's their first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Also let me know if you have any suggestion about this video or if you want to learn about specific topics. Okay, let's watch today's video. Welcome again. As you can see, this is my scene inside Cinema 4D. And I've got a camera and some objects in the scene and also a background. And also I've got some simple materials applied to the objects of the scene and also an HDR image that I'm going to use to light the scene. Okay, let's go to the setting. This is the default setting of Cinema 4D. Let's have a test render with this setting. Okay, this is the first result of using uh, default render settings inside Cinema 4D. Now let's make some changes. Let's add ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion adds some kind of shadows into your scene and makes it to look more realistic. Okay, this is the result. The first one without ambient occlusion and the second one has an ambient occlusion. Okay, let's move on to improve the lighting of the scene. And let's add a sky to the scene. And add our HDR image to the sky. Okay, let's have a test render. And as it appears, we have a brighter scene and the lighting of our scene has improved. The first render, second render and the next render. And as you can see, we have, we are improving the lighting of the scene. Okay, let's add global illumination and have another test render. And as you can see that we have applied global illumination to the scene. Actually global illumination means to add light bounce in the scene. And as you can see that we have a brighter scene. We have improved our lighting and let's go to global illumination setting and activate secondary method let's choose light mapping or iridience cache let's choose iridience cache and have another test render secondary method it means that light bounce more than once in the scene lighting your scene is one of the important points to have a good result of your 3d renders now you can see that we have improved the lighting and it's really important to pay attention to the options of global illumination. Yeah, that's better. Before, without secondary method and the next one, that secondary method is on. Okay, some other options we have 
diffuse depth means the number of uh, bounces in the scene and gamma means the overall brightness of the scene let's change it to 2 and as you can see now we have a brighter scene and we have improved the lighting of the scene and to have a good lighting in your scene it means to have a better and more realistic render of your scene and today we learned about HDR image and global animation and this method is really good for having exterior renders or having uh, studio renders inside Cinema 4D and you have tried it in your projects and you can really get outstanding results of your projects this was for today's video and thank you for your attention and this is the final result thank you for your attention don't forget to subscribe like and share this video with, with your friends and till next time, goodbye.